Hi guys, I am Barry Boxing Coach and welcome to today's video on how to train like a professional boxer. In today's video guys, I'll be training my newly turned professional fighter, Louis Muldowney, and I'll be bringing him through a full professional boxing training session. You'll see all the insights as to the warm up, technical part of it, and little bits here and there. So before we get started guys, please give the video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. So guys, Junior won't be having his professional debut until next February, March time. So we're outside training camp at the minute. So we're gonna show you what we do, how we train. We've been laughing for a while, sorry, so bear with me. We're gonna show you how we train outside of a training camp. Uh, and bring you through the session. We'll always do a warm up on the treadmill and then we'll do uh, a, a mobility warm up here. Make sure uh, he's nice and warm, he doesn't pull any muscles when he's training. Then we'll go through our, sh our shadow boxing uh, routine. Then you'll see the technical side of it and then so forth, so forth, so on, so on, so forth, so on, so forth. So how my fighter shadow box guys, what they'll do is they'll do four rounds, three minute rounds. Uh, the first round will be just movement. The second round will be uh, just a jab. The third round will be just straight punches. And the last round will be open as any punches like any combinations you like the reason i like to do is i think it's good to break it down to the first round just get your movement get your base settled it's good to feel confident in yourself if you just start shadow boxing straight away and throwing pointless combinations it doesn't make any sense then we'll build into the jab then we'll build into straight punches and then we go open when they're in training camp sometimes i'll let them do four open rounds but i do think it's good to break it up a little bit get the movement so they can focus on what they're doing i don't agree with like pointless shadow boxing like shoe shines and like seven eight punch combinations just nice simple shadow boxing stuff that you'll do in the pad stuff that you'll do inspiring because that's what it's all about yeah. oh, you're looking down you're looking down don't pull the hand down just there just twist it just yeah change the level okay. oh, oh. see but you're still looking down yeah, yeah, yeah. you won't miss the target especially not my target Dragging the head a bit too much. Go this way, yeah? Yeah. Touch it. Touch the hook. No, no, you're, you're, you're dragging it too much. Oh, what, the actual punch? Yeah, yeah, okay. You're bringing the head down too much. Alright. Just show the hook, stay there. When you connect, keep your head straight. Alright. Bring the head back here. Let's, we're gonna come off that hook now, okay? Yeah. Two ways you can go. This way to the body. Here. Good. And then otherwise we're gonna go inside for the uppercut. We'll do five of each, yeah? You need more movement from the waist. Yeah. If you're not moving your feet, your waist needs to move. Yeah. Good. And speed. Good. Feet, feet. Come on, you two. I'm doing the work for you. Come on, you gotta yeah. move your feet. Left. Right. Feet, 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 shoot. If you land the hook, dip down, up good. Yep. Ash, ash. Good. Here, head in neutral, mutual, mutual. Left. Good. Shoot. Ash, ash. Far away. Range. Shoot. Ash, ash. Don't let that left hand drift. Keep it there, keep yep. it there. Keep it topped. Touch. Good. One, two. Ash. Good. See when you're south, Paul? Yep. You're throwing that one too. Yep. Okay. Don't let the arm drift. Because you're moving outside, yeah? If you pull your arm, you won't get power. Yeah. Le leave your arm over here. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. D don't concentrate on your body, concentrate on the arm. Okay. okay. You know you're on the outside, just there. Boom, oh, there you go. Okay. Right. Don't pull the elbow too much. Keep punch. You stay where it is? Yes, yeah, because you're pulling it across. Okay. You're not getting too much power. But if you step too far, it's only going to be an arm shot. Okay. Just step the right amount, and you'll get power behind it. Touch. Just touch. Don't pull it now, don't pull it. There you go, see that? Yeah, yeah, feel it and all. That hurt. That really hurt, actually. So I think we got serious power. Once you make them con concentrate down the middle, that's the key, make them concentrate there. Good. There, keep everything down the middle, don't look around the sides. Yeah. Pop another down the middle. Pop another down the middle. Fast down the middle. And then round the side. Yeah, right. That'll hurt, because then, then, then I know you're throwing. So a few down the middle and whip them down the yep. side. Everything down the middle. Two. 
So as you can see today, we don't have any set time on the clock. Uh, when we're in training camp, obviously we'll have the clock on because it puts a bit, bit more pressure on you to get fit for the fight. And if you're going into training camp without knowing things that work and don't work, then you're in a bad position. So anytime me and my boys are in training camp, we know what we're doing, we know what, what we need to work on, and we can use the clock. Uh, three minute rounds, 30 seconds rest. But yeah, like I said, now we're doing maybe seven minute rounds, Junior, six minute rounds. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it might be two, if he gets what we're trying to work on, it might be a two minute round. Sometimes it can go up to 10 minutes, just slowly working on things over and over again. Yeah, making sure that they're reshaping, making sure their little little touches are here and there, filling in the gaps in between. And yeah, repetition, 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 repetition. More to do with the technical aspect. Yes, but rather than endurance. Like, exactly, yeah. I actually, for me anyway, because I sweat a lot more and I'm more tired from outside training camp. Because inside, I know what's happening when we're in training camp, even though we probably do more rounds in training camp. These kind of sessions are a little bit longer, kind of a little bit more annoying because you're just working over the same stuff again without a fight date or, uh, or without anything penciled in. But you just, it's its so important. And so some people say like, I don't really train outside training camp. I'm thinking, what the f How could you not do that? It's more important than training camp. Make sure you train them just as much, if not more, outside training camp. It's very important. And you have more time, you got five days a week. We don't spar outside training camp. Um, so we have five days a week to just constantly work on technique, 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 technique. Because once we're in training camp, we got sparring twice a week, we got a team session once a week, and then we only got two pad sessions. You can't be f***ing around doing techniques nice and slow. You gotta get going, get them fit, get their time and get their speed up. Let's do a little kind of trying to fire up. So here, right, go catch, here, catch. Oh, days like this, I wish Nathan was here, not this <laughs> Now we got a 10 minute round. Combination. Good boy, nice combination. Ach! Fine, good boy. Mate. That's a hard combination. This one could be on a sunbed for about 30 minutes. Whew, that's that's important good. though to be, have to be comfortable there. About 100 percent, yeah. For me. Just catch in a minute. You can't just spin off the ropes all the time. Yeah. Have to stay there and throw back. He's got to try and punch inside then. So if I'm here, there, punch inside. There, punch inside. Yeah. Instead of looping that, just go inside. Everything inside mine. There. Inside. 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 All right, a little bit of heavy uh, with the elastic rope. Yeah, and you can go. So at the end of every session, guys, I like to do a little bit of head movement, a bit of waist movement, a bit of defense. I feel like if you just finish on pads, you're going from hard work to then nothing. So I like to loosen them out a little bit. So today we're going to be doing some movement on the rope. I'm just getting used to being comfortable in your shape. Again, I'm going to keep saying this, guys, to anyone out here watching my videos. Make sure you're always working on your base and your shape and you're very comfortable in your movement. Don't worry about combinations and how hard you can punch, how fast you can punch. Make sure you're comfortable with keeping your shape reshaping before you punch, after you punch, and that's what I like to do before we start training and after. We're over punching already. Yeah. Don't just keep punching. Movement, movement, movement. Comfortable, find the shot. Two roll, right hand, left hook roll. Yeah, there's your combination. Yeah. yeah, in between moving, let's go. Push, push. One, two. You roll, make sure you catch, in case it's wrong again. I know you got turn there. Okay, touch it up. Push, push. Then when you roll in after right hand left hook, go left up cut, roll in, right up a cut, roll out, roll out. Good. And again, reset feints in between now. Do it better. I'll punch properly. Chip it, chip it. Under, under. Good, there you go. Don't come square when you're rolling. Yep. Careful with that. Thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, big thanks to my, to my man over here, Sweet. Mr. Louis <laughs> Muldowney, aka Junior Gingerhead. Um, we have his pro debut next year, guys. Keep an eye out for him. Uh, big prospect, and 
big future ahead of him. So hope you enjoyed today's uh, video, guys. Any questions or anything else you'd like to see from me as a coach, drop it down in the comment box, guys. Uh, please give the video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, yeah. subscribe. Thank you, guys. <laughs>